I've got a bit of a cold. I might have to blow my nose in the middle. But the story today is all in this box. It's a basket, I know. And this is how it begins. Once upon a time, there was a mountain, a tall, rocky mountain. It was very high, it reached up to the sky, Te Moanga. There were rocks and trees and secret pathways and ditches and shrubs and bushes and rocks and little places with waterfalls, tiny streams. And here it is. Now, at the bottom of this hill, this mountain, was a hill. The mountains are the big ones, and the hills are the not quite so big ones. So here is a not quite so big hill that was at the bottom of the mountain. Now, there's a little path here. I want to make a little path. I used to do this when I was a little child in my bed. You'd move all the blankets and pillows so that there would be caves and mountains and secret places and roads. Robert Louis Stevenson used to do that with his porridge. He wrote Treasure Island. He started very early with porridge. Now, running down the bottom of the hill, right in the valley, was a river. Here's the river. Put the bank of the field over the river. There we go. And on the other side of the river was a field where a farmer and his family, his wife, they all worked there together, digging, making plants and helping plants to grow. And there we go. You can see he's been working hard. I think they all worked hard, the whole family, but only the farmer, Dad, appears in this story. Now, across the river is our trusty bridge. Mm. Tell you one day how I made that. I made this bridge. Isn't that a great bridge? Right. Now, what else is there? Oh, yes. Over here, quite far away, is a forest. A darker place. There's rocks and pine cones and little damp, mossy places. Maybe fairies played there. The trees were very thick and it was very dark. Now, children didn't tend to go in there on their own, but because it was such a, a bit of a dark place. I've got a thing about dark places. And there was also, yeah, I found some nice little dried curry ones to be part of the forest. There we go. Now, the story may begin. Right, here on the hill, there lived two people. Here they are. There was a mother and her daughter, and they lived in a little house halfway between the river and the mountain, on a hill. And every morning when they got up from their sleep, they would get dressed, quite a terrific business getting dressed, shoes and jackets and shirts and sleeves and buttons, and then they'd have breakfast together. Mm, yum, 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 yum. And after breakfast, they'd clean their teeth. These days, they would wash their hands. They always wash their hands, but these days they did it while they sang. So first of all, the girl would sing to her mummy, Happy birthday, dear mum, but they're washing hands at the same time. Happy birthday, dear mum, happy birthday, dear mummy, happy birthday, dear mum. And they'd keep washing, and mum would sing, Happy birthday, dear daughter, happy birthday, dear daughter, happy birthday, dear daughter. Happy birthday to you. And sometimes they would dance a little bit. Because it makes you feel really good when you think every single day is your birthday. Every time you wash your hands is your birthday. It's my birthday soon. Ooh. I'm going to be very, 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 very old. Yes. <laughs> anyway, this little girl had a pet. And her pet was a pig. So every day she would say goodbye to mum. Bye mum. She would go off down the hill through the long grass to 
the gate and down the steps. Oh, we want steps. I want steps. Here we go, steps. Down the steps and along the path. Oh, she had to jump over a ditch there. Along the path, all the way to by the bridge. I didn't leave room, did I? Here we go. And there by the bridge was her pet. It's a little pig. Mm. He lives in a sty because that's always rolling on his back. He must be very pleased to see her. I shall make you stand up, dear trees, because I need you to. There you go. And the little girl would unlock the sty door and out would come the pig. Oh, very pleased to see her. And they would go down to the river and have a drink. And if it was a really hot sunny day, they'd have a bit of a swim. And the little girl would have a swim. They have races down the river. The pig likes swimming. The pig likes water. Pigs actually love to be clean. Then they get out and the pig would go shake, 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 just like dogs. And the girl would go rub, 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 rub with the towel. And then they go and play. And sometimes they'd go over the bridge and check out what was happening at the farm. And sometimes they'd go up the hill. And the little girl would pick daisies and make daisy chains and listen to the birds and watch the boy on the swing on the macrocarpa tree. And the pig would rootle around and find things to eat. And then when it was time to go home, down they would go back into the sty, have a drink first. And shut the door. And the little girl would go home along the path beside the river, jump across the ditch, up the steps, through the gate, and all the way back to Mum. Excuse me while I blow my nose. <laughs> there we go. And they would have dinner. And they would eat dinner. And then they would get into their pajamas. And then they'd clean their teeth. And wash their hands. We won't do it all. We will get to the end of the song if they wash their hands all the time. Story, I mean, not song. So, and then they'd go to sleep. Well, one morning, they got up and they changed out of their pajamas into clothes and they had breakfast and they were cleaning their teeth. But, meanwhile, down here, the pig had decided she was thirsty and wanted to get out. And so she pushed and pushed and it unlocked. It wasn't quite locked. Came out, had a drink, went over the bridge, wondered where the little girl was, wandered around a bit, went up the hill for a little bit, and then thought, oh, look, we don't ever go in here. This looks like a fun place. And in she went, deep, deep into the forest. Uh-oh. I think she got lost. Anyway, the little girl said, bye, Mum. I'm going to go and see my pig now. Bye. And off she went, down through the long grass, through the gate, down the steps, jump across the bank, and across along by the river. <gasps> no pig. It was a pig, and she called, pig, pig. She ran over the bridge, pig, pig, pig. She went up on the hill, pig, 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 pig. Oh, and she ran down, pig, pig. But nothing, silence. <gasps> she ran back along the path, jumped across, up the steps, through the gate, back to mum, 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 mum. And she was crying. What's wrong, sweetheart? Okay, well, you better ask for some help. Maybe you could ask the farmer. He sees a lot. He's always in his fields. Maybe the pig's with the farmer. Okay, bye. And off she went, down through the long grass, through the gate, down the steps, jumped across, and along here, and all the way over the bridge, until she came to where the farmer was digging. Dig, dig, dig. But when she, he saw the girl, he stood up and said, Oh, straightened up. He already was standing. What's wrong, little girl? You look very sad. I am sad. Why? What's happened? I've lost my pig. I've lost my pig. Have you seen my pig? No, I'm afraid I haven't seen your pig. But why don't you ask the boy on the swing? He sees a lot from up there. That's a good idea. Thank you. Bye-bye. And off she ran, over the bridge, down the other side, and up the hill to where she found the boy on the swing, back and forth, back and forth, under the macrocarpa tree, back. Oh, and he stopped. It's hard to stop suddenly, isn't it? You have to scrape your feet on the ground. What's wrong, little girl? I've lost my pig. I've 
you seen my pig? Nope, I'm afraid I haven't seen your pig. But why don't you go to the top of the mountain? Yes, and ask the queen. She can see a lot from up there. Okay, I'll do that. Thank you. And off she went. Up, up, up. It was a long, long way. And it was hard work. And there were lots of rocks and ditches to climb over. And steep bits and rocky bits and slightly scary bits. And she went all the way to the very, 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 very top. And there was the queen. Don't hit me, queen. What's wrong, little girl? You're crying and you're hot. Have a drink of water. Here you are. Thank you. I lost my pig. Have you seen my pig? Can you see my pig from here? No, I haven't seen your pig. But why don't you go to the very top of the mountain, higher up than the castle, and see if you can see your pig? Okay, I'll do that. And so the little girl went up, 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 to the very tippity top of the castle of the mountain and looked down. And there was her mother, hanging out the washing. And there was the farmer, digging in the field. And there was the boy, swinging on the swing. And there, over there, <gasps> there was her pig. She ran down, ran, 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 and slipped and skittled and skittled all the way down. Thank you, Queen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I found him, her. Um, thank you. Goodbye. It's a good. Have a nice day, said the Queen. And down the little girl went, jumping and leaping and bouncing and bounding all the way down the rocky cliff until she came to where the boy was. Oh, thank you, boy. That was such a good idea. I found the pig. Goodbye. Oh, that's very good. Have a nice day. Bye. Thank you. And she went running on down, 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 and into the woods. Pig, pig, pig! And he, she came. Come on, pig. I lost you. I'm so pleased to see you. You are a naughty monkey. I'm not a monkey. I'm a pig. Oh, I know that, but you were naughty to come out. Oh, you worried me. I'm so pleased you're all right. Come on, have a drink of water. And now you're going to go into your sty, because that's enough wandering. And she locked the door, and she ran over the bridge, because you must say thank you, and it was so important. And the farmer was there. Thank you, farmer. Oh, you do look happier now. You do look much happier. I am happier. Thank you for your help. Goodbye. And the little girl went over the bridge, and back down, along the path beside the river, over the ditch, up the steps, through the gate, back through the long grass, to where Mummy was waiting. Oh, I can see you found her. Oh, there you go. Oh, yes, I found her. Oh, I'm so relieved, said her Mummy. Let's have dinner now. And so they had dinner, and they cleaned their teeth. And they washed their hands, and they got into their pajamas, and they lay down in bed. And that night, the little girl told the bedtime story, all about how she lost and then found, with the help of the farmer and the little boy and the queen, her pig. There you go. That was the story. Thank you for listening. Then they all go back in their bags. Oi, pig, you have to come too. Okay. This is their basket. They all go back in. It's possible that you might like to tell a story like this. Just get a cloth or two and some things. And you can tell a story about anything. It doesn't have to be this one. You can make a story, an Easter story maybe. You might leave that one out. And then you could send it to somebody like Grandma or Cousin. That would be fun, wouldn't it? What a surprise to have a story told by you. There we go. All folded up. There goes the farm. And the river's got very airy, fairy, and floaty. Come along, fairy, fairy, floaty, flower, through the river and the mountain. There we go. All finished.